Hello everybody, I'm Serta, and welcome back to Ocean World Eden Crafters. We are where we left off at the last episode, and I'm going to do some stuff today, because we have a, a new building to build, and I'm quite keen on getting it done as quickly as possible, because someone in the comments was kind enough to point out this, which I completely forgot about. So if we head over here, we've got tasks. So you can actually see where to go next. If you get stuck, you can see now. We need to build warehouse one in order to unlock warehouse tier two and a rocket launch site. And it already tells you how much stuff you need. So I need to do some upgrades on my production. But I also want to play around a little bit with leveling and making an area available. So let's get stuck in. Right, I am going to flatten this this area over here all the way up to my platform. Yeah, I have to keep stopping to go and get oxygen. I've been messing around a bit. All right, that, uh, that looks good. So let's take this steamroller back. All right, so the point, uh, the point of this elevated area here was to kind of make things neater because this is the building that I want to put in. And this building requires quite a lot. And this is the tier one building. So I can't imagine what tier two is going to look like. I imagine it's going to be pretty big. But we do need to start improving our production. And that means that I'm going to need to add, well, I'm going to need to make this whole system better. Another thing that I've been told is that uh, if you take the area fertilizer down, it doesn't actually lose fertility. So you can take this down, uh, the setup down, and move it around to different areas. Now, if you get far away from your power source, it could mean that you'd actually need to put a power source in for it. But that's okay, as long as you're carrying your stuff around. I also want to pop a, a bit of storage in here. So I've got myself a couple of pieces of glass. And uh, this is the one I want to put in. Oh, it snaps quite nicely. So we'll put it in over here. And then I can drop a few things that I don't currently need. Because I want to carry on extending the platform. And uh, there's a way to do it that I, I didn't even think of. But thank you to, to the person in the comments that mentioned this. All right, well, night, night is falling. And I want to extend this platform. And the way you can do it now, I was having a problem because I wasn't able... Wait, hold on, that's glass. I don't want glass. Because I could extend it this way, uh, but only up. And if you were fiddly enough... Uh, there, sometimes you could get it three wide. Oh gosh, I missed it. Oh, there we go. So I could go th three wide, like that. But there's an easier way. And I just didn't even think about it. So let's get this going. Look at that. So much easier. Okay, so 10 by 24, that's that's good. And I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to extend out a fair bit. Okay, I'm down to 7 concrete left. But yeah, now we can make this platform even bigger. And that means that I'll be able to sort out the the production lines. I'm, I'm changing my mind a little bit exactly on... Uh, let's put my torch on. I'm changing my mind on exactly how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a bit of pre-processing at the at the miner. So where I can do ingots, I'll do ingots at the miner. In other words, there will be a bit of storage and then a forge. And then the forge will take things across over to this area somewhere around here. And it will make the iron plates and the rods and gears and, you know, all the, all the sort of basic items that I need, which will then go into storage into this area. But now with the warehouse, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it. So I might just take it to the to the parts producer or the assembler and then not put that into storage yet. Because once you've got the warehouse, you'll be able to see how many items you can store. I, don't, I actually don't even know how it works. So I'm going to be playing around with that a little bit. But that just means that I'm going to be taking a lot of this stuff down and moving it over. I will be taking this down because I don't actually need this anymore. And then I, I 
need to get my rubber production sorted out as well. Apparently, you don't lose ground fertility if you break things down. So I can take this down. Well, what did I just remove? All right, that's gone. Okay, there we go. So now this, this setup here will provide water for... I don't know how much basalt I'm going to need. Oh, maybe we can find out. Let's go and have a look at our tasks. So was it J? Yeah. Okay, so basalt concrete, I need 80 for warehouse tier 2. That's quite a bit. So I might have to set up a production line for that. And the rocket launch site needs 400 basalt concrete. Okay, well that means I definitely need to put up a production facility. We also need iron beams, rotors and computers. Circuit boards need to be automated as well, but yeah, that's not so urgent. Glass a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so there, there's quite a lot that we need to automate before we can get into that. So I think what I'm going to do, let me let me do a lot of that off camera now that I've explained what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to be humming and hawing quite a lot. I'm trying to think about where exactly I'm going to put things. And uh, might move things around quite a lot. So give me a moment, I'll be back. All right, folks, I'm back. I did want to do a time lapse on what I was doing, but it was too big and my backup drive was full, so it didn't record. Anyway, I've done a few things. So that's a weird thing to happen, but yeah, that works. Let's hop into our drone. At the basalt mine, I made a container to store basalt. I put a, a, I put a refiner down and I'm sending the basalt, the refined basalt into a container i have my iron set up so the iron's coming into a container going into the forge uh into a container with two outputs because i hope it's faster then one parts producer making iron plates one making rods a splitter going off with the rods to make the gears so we have all of those saved we also have uh, i would think we would have rubber but maybe i've forgotten to do something here no, I haven't. Oh, we're full. Strange that this belt looks empty. And then on the other side, I brought a belt down with the cobalt. Oh, and I also uh, moved the... I moved that setup around in a few places. So we, we have good fertility around the map. So, uh, let's see. This belt comes down the mountain and it brings the cobalt into a splitter. So there's some cobalt being stored in there. Then I've got a refiner, which is taking cobalt and refining it. And it should be going in here. Why did I not put a belt? That was a bit silly. All right, well, that'll fix that up. I'll have to check all my belts. As far as the other stuff goes, I've got the copper belt coming down into a double container one side is going into a parts producer making plates the other side's making copper wire then i'm bringing the quartz across here that's going into a forge it's making silica the silica is being split some silica going into a container other silica going into the parts producer to make glass and that's where we are now the way i got this pipe up in level i built two blocks and those blocks it, it, the pipe kind of hovers just above it but it makes a nice neat straight line so this area now is going to be where we are going to have our assemblers oh and i also moved the concrete production because i ran into this little rock over here which happens to be a large rock deposit put a big miner on it into a storage box into a forge and we now have a full container of cement. I still have the temporary refiner set up over here for when I need to do some refined uranium. I don't have a need for it at the moment, but I did do a lot of shaping and neatening up with the bulldozer. And this is the kind of thing you can do with a bulldozer. You just can you can just drive it straight into the mountain and dig out a, a tunnel. It's pretty cool. Uh, the way the belts work is pretty pretty cool because you can do a 90 degree bend by turning yourself because it kind of aligns with you. So you need to go to the 90 
and click it like that and you've got a nice 90 degree bend it's a little fiddly but it does work anyway so we'll take that down and that is where we are right now so the next thing that we need to build is this monstrosity and i'm gonna put that over here so oh, there's a tree in the way now okay i'll put it on this side i'm not sure how it works or what goes into it but this is where it's gonna go i just need to collect all the bits for it so i will pin the recipe and start collecting stuff i'm probably going to need to offload a bit of stuff as well because uh, i see it's quite a few stacks of things that we need all right so uh, that's empty enough right let's start on this side and we will get the iron plates so one two three stacks and that is that sorted out and then over here we need cement just a little bit more then we need 30 glass, and glass is uh, in here, I think. Yep. And cable, which is right here. Excellent. Oh, well, now we can build it. Let's uh, get into our drone so we can line this up nicely right there. Oh man, that is uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> you got the whole building thing going on. Tower crane. Excellent, look at that. Alright, uh, what do we have? Do we go inside? How does this work? Oh, it's just a huge storage. Yeah, nothing around the back, although it does look pretty sweet. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah, it didn't come to the edge, but that's okay. Oh, it did come to the edge. It just uh, cut the concrete out. I'm glad I didn't put it on the concrete. That would have been a lot of work thrown away. All right, uh, let's have a look at what that did. So now we have the rocket launch site. That needs iron beams, computers, and rotors. Quite a bit of them. But there we have the warehouse tier 2. That increases the maximum stack size of elements up to 50. Okay, increases by 10 the maximum stack size of elements in your inventory and other containers up to 50. Interesting. Yeah, just looking at the graphic there, it doesn't appear to have any ports on it. So it's not, doesn't, I'm not sure if it's a storage or not. Well, anyway, we do need to build it. So that means I need a few assemblers. Iron beams, circuit boards, rotors, computers, and... So I need at least four. So we'll start with four. Let's see what we need for the assemblers. I'll just pin that because I need to go and collect stuff to make everything. Ah, there's one thing that I haven't made yet. And that is... Well, it should be fine. We have rubber now. But it's the rubber belts. So I'll just pop in here. We're going to need to make those. I'm going to need 16 rotors. That means I need to go and pick up some more cable. All right, night has fallen. The wave passed just before I started recording. So we shouldn't have a problem for a while. All right, let's see. Uh, we could do... We need 20 of these. I don't think I've got quite enough. Yeah, do as many as we can. Damn, that wasn't even anywhere close. All right, uh, rotors, we need 16. Might be able to do 15. All right, computers need circuit boards. I've got a bit of cable. I'm going to have to go and get some more. But circuit boards, uh, I need silica. Oh gosh, I forgot to pick silica. Right, circuit boards. Okay, first of all, we need 10 circuit boards per computer. So we're going to need 40 circuit boards. I think I can do that. Oh no, why did I think I needed so many? Forget that. I'm going to make a computer now. I'm going to start with one, um, because I can, I can get things moving at least. So, we're going to come over here with our machine, and I want to go close to these two. Okay, uh, that should work, and then we'll put a storage container over here. 
And if all goes well, these things will line up. Be able to put that in there. And that in there. And put that in there. And if I go in here, I should be able to choose iron beams. There we go. We are making iron beams now. Good. And that is one of the components that we actually need for the next one that we're going to do. So I'm going to go and grab another computer. All right, this one's going to be a little trickier because I want to do rotors. Rotors need uh, something that I haven't made yet. So let's see if I've got enough for a parts producer. I do. Put that there. Tie that in. And this one will need to make rubber belts. Okay, good. And I don't have enough iron plates. All right, let's put a storage. Did I get that in line? Oh, it looks like I did. All right, good. Put that in there. Right, rubber belts sorted out. All right, now this could become a bit messy because the next one I want to do is rotors and they need rubber belts and cables. Cables are, are on that side. Rubber belts are over here. Let me do it like this. I might have to fiddle this around at some point. But if I line this one up, oh gosh, if I line this up to that port right there, not enough, iron, oh gosh, I need to pick up iron beams. No problem. Uh, rotate that again. Okay, so if I do that and I somehow figure out how to make a tight belt, I can bring, what was it that I needed? Was it wire? Jeez, now I have to check myself. Okay, it was indeed cable. So ha I got it. I got quite a bit of iron. So let's uh, let's see if we can do this neatly. Okay, I'm gonna bring this out. I'm gonna give it a bit of space. In fact, maybe I should do this on the ground. Can't remember what uh, the silica and glass are needed for. I know they need it for something soon. So I'll bring this out to there, and then do a little. Ah, going to have to do this this way. All right, so we'll pull a belt down over here. Yeah, this may just be a little bit too tight. All right, let's go ground level. There's no way this is plugging in straight. Actually, you know what? That will do. I am not unhappy with that. So we can plug this one in. Open this up and go rotors. just got to make sure that this doesn't fill all the ports with uh with rubber before the oh gosh yeah, i need to break this first hold on okay, we'll get rid of that for for now because we still need to connect this in how does that look huh. surprisingly not terrible and then you know yeah what the heck i'll put a storage in for the uh ah, i didn't get it straight hold it all right let's try that again it's not interfering with the belt you know is are you even able to line that up not really huh huh okay so it's not going to be in a dead straight line it's close though all right, let's reconnect this container. And this is now automated. Rotors are being made and they're being put into storage. Excellent. So the next thing we want to make, I think, is circuit boards. Do we need circuit boards for either of these? Well, we need computers, but we also do need circuit boards. So circuit boards it is then. I'm going to have to make a few circuit boards because uh, if I want to do this, I'll just pin it again. I'm going to need a computer and that uses 10 circuit boards. And now we can make a computer. Okay, we got the rotors. Uh, we just need the iron beams and cement. Plenty of iron beams. Wow. And uh, lots of rotors. Cool. Okay, and a bit of cement. And now we can make the next one. 
Now, this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky because it needs copper plate, which is here, and silica, which is over here. So, we're going to have to swing a conveyor out of this one and go over. And let's put this in. Ah, yeah. This is going to be very tricky. So maybe I should bring it all the way over here. And then make a plan. Let's see. This is going to have to hop over here. So if I put down one of these blocks there and there. Let's see if I can get a belt to do some magic. Oh, it doesn't work like... Uh, it doesn't work exactly like the pipes. But it's maybe doable. Let's see. Yes, if you go if you go to kind of the back edge. Aha. Uh -huh. Can we get this to look decent? Oh gosh, not enough iron plates. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Cool. Alright, I'm back with iron plates. Go into drone view. That one. Connect from there to there. Uh, let's see what it looks like at ground level. Yeah, you know, it's not too bad. I don't like the idea of pipes having to, to overlap. But, okay, we now, now we need these. So, let us bring this out in a straight line. Put this into here. Oh, no, that's not right. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's these machines that don't align properly. All right, well, it's not too bad. It works, I think. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. What's going on here? I'll try that again. Now it works. And that works. And we've got silica and plates going in. And silica and plates to make circuit boards. Perfect. Now we need to get some storage going. And we'll just put that over there. Grab a belt, belt it into there. And now we're going to have circuit boards up the wazoo. All right. Well, now that that's in, uh, let's see what else we need. Okay. So maybe we do need to automate computers. I need to go and remind myself what computers actually need. All right. Circuit boards and cable. You know... There's cable right here. There's circuit boards over there. I'm thinking maybe a splitter over here would work. If I get it in the right spot. Just about there. Oh, really? Oh, gosh, the wave's coming. All right, well, let's put this belt back. Uh, no, that didn't work. All right, that's working. And then we can just pop this over. Or we could take it through here. And wrap it around and then have this assembler over here so let's ah uh, i know i know if we put this over the storage over here and i'm going to need another one of these and i'm missing strangely computers and stuff all right well here we go all right that's passed um yeah i was on my way to go and get a computer and some stuff Few circuit boards i've got cable um rotors i could use a rotor where are they there they are well that's that's so much easier now okay we'll go make this computer so that we can make something to make computers how am i doing on iron plates not many okay i'm gonna need conveyors so might as well get some iron plates while i'm here oh and i'm full up well, I got a few. That should be enough. Right. Another assembler. And we're going to rotate this. So that. This lines up as close as possible. And then. We are going to bring this belt. From here. Come on, give me a nice bend. That looks okay. 
And then I'm going to have to go wide. All right, maybe it's better to do this at ground level. And bring it out to about there. See if I can bring this one immediately out. Oh, it's not liking that too much. But it sort of works. Why is nothing coming? Oh, they, they are coming out. That can go... All right, so I'm going to put a bit of belt over here. Not like that. Um, there. And have that connect. No. Okay, so it's in this line. If I can get a nice 90 here. That doesn't look great. Why is it doing that? Oh no, that's not right. Oh, it's because this isn't at 90. Pain in the bum. Okay, now is... What the hell? Good grief. All right, let's try that again, shall we? We are going to go to there and hope that stays at 90. So we can bring this to here. At hopefully 90. What the heck? Oh, these belts are a pain sometimes. Now this one isn't at 90 again. It's going to look weird, but I'm plugging it straight into there. Otherwise, it might not work. Bring this around. Plug it into there. It's clipping. I don't want it to clip. That's totally wrong. Now, why can't I select this one? Come on. And what is this now? Oh, wow. These belts are janky. Okay. Put that one into there. Grab this one. Bring it up to about here. Then throw that into there. Ah, uh, it's not great. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, there's no easy way to get these. Although, jeepers, that looks really bad. See, I could have gone from the machine, but then I don't know if it changes the direction. Anyway. It's getting stuff. No, it's not. Of course it's not. Why would it work? Okay, now it's working. Is it? Come on, get around. Oh, my. It's... All right, well, I'll take it. Hop in here. Say, make computer. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to have a storage box for this one because I don't need that many computers. This is going to make computers at six per minute. And I've already got a computer. Good. So that means we have all the pieces, I believe, to do the big buildings. And this is the first one. Oh, my gosh, this is huge. Oh god, whoa, where am I even going to put this? Um, wow, this is flippin' enormous. Maybe, maybe I should go up a level with this. Have it looked down. Oh, it has got ports on this side. Okay. So that's that. Well, let's have a look at the, uh, this. Holy moly. I did not plan space for these things. Goodness me. That's big. All right, well, I am making all the materials that I need for those. Just to be sure. Yeah, basalt concrete. Let's make sure that I'm actually making it. Yes, there's a line that's full there. Yep, yeah, that's cool. Iron beams I'm making, glass I'm making, circuit boards I'm making, computers, rotors. Yep, got everything that I need to make those. So, I'm going to save those for the next episode. Let's see if there's anything else that showed up in the task. A grappling rocket. Okay, that needs a lot of sulfur ore. All right, well, I'm going to have to go across and put up a container. And, uh, damn, I haven't, I haven't had oxygen for a while. I have to go and put a container over by the sulfur area to store up enough sulfur ore while I have something to eat. Um, yeah, so we're going to need a lot of sulfur ore for that. Let's just go back in there. Rotors. Filters, of course. Ah, filters. Filters also need silica. Uh, filters also need sulfur. Yep. I am going to bring a whole bunch over. I think that's about all I can really do. I have some storage on the on the spaceship. Yeah, there's a fair bit. So I could bring quite a lot over. But then it's going to be a different setup. Because I'm going to have to somehow 
find a place to tee off the iron belts. Oh man, I didn't expect to have to make filters, so... Uh, sorry, the iron plates. So I didn't leave a place to tee off. Maybe with a bit of clipping I could do it over here. But then, uh, you know, I only need 30 filters. I'll have to see. I'll have to see how that's going to work. But wow, we got some new stuff in the game for sure. And some of it's really big. Like really big. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I wonder if it matters if we break this one down to put the other one in here. Because this is a T1. This is a T2. So I would imagine this one is better than this one. But we had to build one of these in order to unlock these. So maybe we can just take this down. But we'll see. I'll think about it between episodes and we'll take it from there. But if you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think of the, the playthrough so far. Are you enjoying it? I know that there's probably things I could have done better in terms of layout, but I mean, we're not going to get away from conveyors crossing. Not as far as I can see at the moment. But I did try and make the belts as neat as possible. Uh, not an easy task. All right, thank you very much to my members and thank you to everybody supporting the channel. I uh, just passed 4,000 subscribers. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, cheers.